Hello, my lovely friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole, and welcome, finally, to my one-year update of using LED therapy for the purposes of both anti-acne as well as anti-aging. Oh, I'm so excited about today's video. We have a lot to cover. Now, if you are just stumbling upon this video, like all of my videos, if you expand the description box below, you will find a rough outline for this video that you can use to jump around if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on perhaps one specific LED device, you can do that. However, I do wanna say before we get into this video that I'm going to cover a lot. I'm gonna talk about my experience, safety, do you need to use green tea with LED? We've got so much to talk about and I've decided the best way to do this is to build on each LED device. So if you're here to learn as much as possible about LED, your best bet may be to grab a cup of coffee and watch the whole video. And as a couple of disclaimers, of course, this video is all my own opinion. You all are welcome to share your experiences in the comment section below. Also, I'm saying this is a year update. It's actually a year on average. Some of these devices I've had closer to two years at this point and some of them for six months. So a year on average, we'll say. If you do have any questions or concerns about whether LED is for you, I want to make sure to re-emphasize that a really good place to go is your primary care physician. I don't understand why this is so understated within the skincare community. You may not need to go to a dermatologist if you just have basic questions about whether LED is safe for your skin or not. In general, I do feel it is. I will talk more about how to make it even safer, but I do feel for most people, especially these at-home devices, because they're not too strong, you really should not see any problems happening as a result of them. That's a blanket statement. Again, check with your doctor if you are concerned. So now to share with you my results, which I'll split up by my acne as well as anti-aging. So first of all, let's talk about what I've seen in terms of acne. Most of these devices will tell you that you should expect to see results from acne within two weeks. And I agree with that. I absolutely wholeheartedly agree with that. And this makes perfect sense because of the cycle of acne. Acne takes about seven to 10 days to form within your skin, to surface within your skin. And so therefore, if you are hoping to minimize acne, you're going to see those results within 14 days. You may notice that blue light is typically what's recommended for acne. And the reason for that is because in the research, we've seen that certain wavelengths of blue light may help with killing off the bacteria that's responsible for acne. However, I think it's important to keep in mind that the research on red light has actually addressed issues like inflammation as well as wound healing, which is a big part of acne. Which is all to say, for me, I would say if you are interested in LED for the purpose of fighting acne, I actually think your best bet is not to buy either a blue light device or a red light device separately, but rather to buy one of these devices that does contain both red and blue LED therapy within it. Very importantly here, I do not think that LED therapy is a must have for treating acne. I think it is simply an option that is available to use in conjunction with something like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, as well as your LED therapy. And I say this and I emphasize this because a lot of the studies have done the exact same thing. When you look at these studies, you will notice that a lot of them are doing both LED as well as something like benzoyl peroxide. It is very rarely used alone, but what does make it an attractive complement to your topical skincare products is that the risk is pretty low. You're not introducing more products. You don't have to go through that whole, you know, will this cause an allergy in my skin? It's very unlikely to have problems from LED therapy. And I've absolutely seen results. I do have a two week results video on using the Cure device, which I'll talk about later. But yeah, within two weeks, you should see results for the purposes of acne. I suspect more of you are watching today's video with concerns of anti-aging. So let's address that next. What have I seen in over a year of LED therapy in terms of anti-aging? And the answer is... 
Did I tell you all this is going to be one of those brutally honest videos? Now I've got to say something here really quickly. So I am in my 30s, I don't give the exact age, but I'm in my 30s, and it, it's a funny age range. It really is. I think that teenagers don't even know what 30 year olds look like. I really think they don't. I think they believe there's 20 year olds and then there's 40 year olds. Have you all noticed this? So you know, young people might be looking at me going, I, I really want to make sure that by my 30th birthday I don't look old and haggard. And yet if you're in your 50s, 60s, and beyond, you might be watching this going, you're in your 30s. What anti-aging do you possibly think you're going to see? Have you all seen Vsauce's latest video? He put out a video talking about, uh, you know, do people look younger now than they used too many years ago? I highly recommend that. I don't think all of you watched it or you would have caught a joke that I made last week. But anyway, it's an amazing video. And he talks about how uh, they did this survey of people to find out what people think the ideal age is. Hey, if we have any 19 year olds watching this video, I want you to know in that survey, people said the ideal age is 36. So I think what I'm trying to go off on here is that I don't want to play into that whole, oh my goodness, everything that is going well for my skin is all attributed to LED therapy. It is the best thing, buy it, use my code and links. I don't want to fall into that. I want to be realistic with you all. It's really important for me. And so I'm going to tell you, if you are also a somebody who is roughly my age or younger, I want you to know you may not see a whole lot in terms of anti-aging because we're really not that old yet. We're really not. All that said, even though I'm personally not sure what I've seen in terms of anti-aging, I don't want to deny that LED therapy does have some of the most research backing it in terms of anti-aging. We have research looking at red light specifically for the purposes of increasing collagen production in your skin. And like I was just saying in terms of acne, again, what makes red light therapy so appealing is that it is low risk, potentially even lower risk than blue light. More on that later, but it is low risk. You don't have to worry about about what to layer it with. Are you using too many products? You just use it after you've washed your face. Also, please know this is a channel where I welcome anybody's feedback. If you are somebody who has had a very different experience with LED, you may share that in the comment section below. Again, I really appreciate it if you choose to do that because I'm limited, you know? I'm not somebody who is 70 years old talking about what LED has done for my skin. So with all of that said, now I want to move into what, talking about my experience with using these five different devices. I think we'll start out with the two Foreo devices and then move into the masks. So that means we have to go all the way back to when Foreo initially sent me their UFO number one, version number one, in PR about two years ago. Now in all truth, and you know this is a video where I'm trying to share with you the truth about LED therapy, if you are watching this video because you're interested in buying an LED device, this is not the one that I would recommend. This isn't just an LED device, and by being not just an LED device, I don't think it's the strongest as an LED device. Instead, what this is, is it's a little device that has cryotherapy. It gets quite cold. It's very pleasant to use. It's got a warm setting to it. It gets quite warm. It does have the uh, omnipresent vibrations in all Foreo devices. Did I use that word correctly? I don't think I did. <laughs> The motion that you use to glide this across your skin is very similar to using a jade roller, to using gua sha. And finally, Foreo sells this alongside their little sheet mask that you put over this. So it's really delivering you topical ingredients as well. But specifically talking about the LEDs in here, it's eight RGB LEDs. So that means you get red, green, and blue light therapy in here. You can use their little app to create pink light, to create orange light, whatever you want, yellow light. But are you really getting benefits from that? No, you're getting the benefits of the three wavelengths that you have in each RGB bulb. And most importantly, I suspect that the actual amount of light coming out of this, the brightness of the light, the irradiance of the light is really low in comparison to the other devices we're going to talk about. I have a whole theory on that and it has to do with the battery life. So let's actually move on to talking about the Espada next. 
Because unlike the UFO, the Espada is only a light therapy device and it is a whole lot brighter of an LED even though it is just one light. So what's interesting to me is that most Foreo devices, if you're at all familiar with the brand, they have this incredibly long battery life. So does the UFO, you very rarely will have to charge it. Whereas the Espada is the standout to me in all of Foreo's products that I've tried. It actually does not have a long battery life, and I think that's because the LED is really bright. I think it drains the battery, so you will have to continuously charge this over and over again. It's actually surprising how often you'll have to charge this, but that's it. Again, I think it is bright, and something that is very important in choosing LED devices is that a lot of the results depend on the wavelength of the light as well as the energy that light is putting off. I don't want to make today's video too heavy on the science, but basically what's going on is a light is giving off photons, your skin is absorbing those photons which is causing reactions in your skin. So the intensity of the light is heavily dependent on how well you're going to see those results. And then there's also the price of these. This, I, I truly can't believe that this UFO device, at least the two series is now a $300 product that is so expensive. Do you all remember the glitch? How many of you got the UFO one back in the great glitch of the holidays 2019? Y'all did well, you got a cute little device. It's a cute little device, but is it strictly LED? No. And is it the best at LED? No. Whereas the Espada, I do actually think this is great specifically for the purpose of acne. Now this one does have limitations and you can probably guess at what they are. If you are somebody with mild acne, if you only have a pimple here or there, I really think this is a great option for you. But if you're somebody who has a lot of acne, you basically do this treatment for two minutes on each pimple. If you're somebody watching this video and you've got 24 pimples right now, been there, done that. It's going to take you almost an hour to use this. Ultimately, I do like the Espada though. I think it is good for anybody who is dealing with more mild acne. If you have hormonal acne like I do and you get a pimple here and there, you might really like this. Again, though, it is only blue light. Now again, like all Foreo devices, this too does have Foreo's T-Sonic vibrations. So let me tell you something. You have not only the vibrations, you also have this incredible shape as well as the silicone body here, which you just know means that this can double as a unicorn horn. Let's move on to my first ever full LED mask. This is the only other product in this video that I did receive in PR, and this is by the brand Cure. Like I mentioned earlier, I do have a full video talking about this. I did start using it in March of 2021, and this darn device is holding up so well so well. I have not had a single LED go out. I have not really, the only issue I've ever had with this is that it came with a, a velvet bag to put it in and I noticed that uh, some of the velvet kind of just got stuck to it. <laughs> The dye, the dye in the velvet, not the velvet itself. Sometimes I can talk. So maybe don't store it in that if you are traveling with it, but you know, that's what I did. I traveled with it. Now I don't travel with it in their travel bag. I use my own, but uh, I do love it. I do absolutely love it. This is a three minute mask that Cure recommends you use seven times a week. And what is funny about all of the three minute masks is if you look at the reviews, very few people actually use it for three minutes. We all have this idea in our head that you have to use LED masks for at least 10 minutes. So most people will tell you they put it on, turn it on, and then do it again, and then do it again. After about six months of doing that, I admit to you all, I just started doing the three minute treatments. And you know what? I actually think that's sufficient. That said, the way your treatments are measured is based on the energy the lights are putting out over time. That's the ultimate dosage. And so if you do choose to do that, you do get a higher dose. That said, the reason they've designed these, both this one and the Dr. Dennis Gross mask, to be only three minutes is because the manufacturers believe that their three minutes of using this is an adequate dose. Dr. Dennis Gross's manual even goes off about how if you do it for longer, your device is probably not going to last as long. So these days, I mostly stick to the three minutes. Now with some other details with this one. This particular mask does have an app available which has horrible reviews. I think it's because most people hate apps 
for you, you really should take note. I think that most of us, when we are doing our skincare tools, our skincare devices, our skincare routine, my God, the last thing we want to do is have to have our phone out. Am I wrong? Regardless, I do have to say, I personally do like the Cure app because it allows you to customize the treatments that you're doing. So you have a mixture of red and blue lights in this and you can either click it on and do all red light or all blue light. However, you can also use it with the app and you can customize where you want blue light, which is again really helpful if you're somebody like me who has hormonal breakouts. You can just turn on the purple and the blue lights down here. And that allows us to segue into why some people believe you shouldn't use blue lights. Now I know some of you have stuck with this video up until this point and you've been wondering the whole time, but wait, I thought blue light is bad for your skin. I kid you all not, the foundation I'm wearing today has a claim in it that it helps to fight blue light damage. This is why everybody's so confused. So you've got blue light devices, but blue light is bad. What it all always comes down to is that it depends on how much. And again, the reason these companies are saying three minutes for these treatments is because they believe that that is the correct amount of blue light. In a very simple illustration here, if you have a headache, you might take a month all right I certainly need one and that'll help your headache but you don't want to take the whole bottle right same principle with blue light and to throw you another curveball there isn't even research that says conclusively blue light is bad for our skin instead there is research that conclusively says blue light may be bad for your eyes which is why in terms of safety, as somebody who is very big on safety, I highly recommend you buy some type of eye protection. I got this from Amazon. You know I'm not a big fan of Amazon, but I did buy these from Amazon for under 10 bucks. I stick them onto my mask and that is how I do light treatments and I encourage all of you to do the same thing. It is such an inexpensive way to make this a bit more safe. I am not worried about light hitting my skin. In fact, I want the benefits of it, but I am worried about eye protection and I think that this is such an easy way around that. A few more things I want to note with this and we'll do some more direct comparisons to the Dr. Dennis Gross mask in just a moment. Uh, but I wanted to also say to make sure you, if you are thinking about buying one of these, make sure you look at where the LEDs themselves are placed, both the red and the blue lights. With Cure's device, I am actually really happy with the placement of the red LEDs right here around your eye area. I think it's safe to say that's an area that a lot of people are looking to address the signs of aging, so I think they did a great job there. I also love the placement of the blue LED lights within your nose, because I do know about getting nose breakouts. They are very annoying. Uh, the strap. The strap is amazing. I've had absolutely no issues with it. That will also be important next. And the final note is that this is a really good fit for my face. I want you all to know I'm a bit of a petite person. My nose is a bit of a petite nose. And so because of that, I want to say I'm not sure that it'll fit that well on every person's nose. I wouldn't have even thought of this if it wasn't for my own partner having a very different nose shape from my own. For her, this doesn't fit her face as well. It's a little too small and it doesn't fit her nose as well. So it just doesn't ultimately fit as well as it does for me. But overall, I have to say I am extremely, extremely happy with the Cure Mask. Again, that app is an optional feature. It does fit my face well. I love the placement of the LEDs and it's proven itself a year and a half with absolutely no problems whatsoever. This is $300, $296 if you use my, my code. I do have a code. But yeah, I'm happy with it. I think they did a great job, which means next we'll talk about the Dr. Dennis Gross Spectralite Mask. I really wasn't sure that I wanted to buy this because, you know, what do you need two LED masks? But this is, this is the life of a YouTuber. We really should spend money that we don't necessarily need to spend to give you all good reviews. So I talked myself into it. Also, I love the Dr. Dennis Gross brand. However, I should have known this particular mask has about a three star rating on Sephora, which is not good. It's not good, right? There's a lot of people complaining about the device breaking, what? And a lot of people complaining about the strap. So let's just get this stupid strap out of the way. <laughs> I think I just gave away how I feel about it. This device is $139 more expensive than the Cure device. Why is the strap so terrible? Why is it so bad? If Cure can figure out how to make a good strap, why can't Dr. Dennis Gross? 
why is it so bad? So like almost everybody in the reviews says, you will probably give up the fight with that strap and you will probably take it off and just use this mask by holding it in place the whole time, which is what I do alongside my added safety mechanism. That is exactly how it looks when I have it on my skin. Um, I don't love that I have to hold it, but there is actually something that I do like about this Dr. Dennis Gross mask in comparison to the Cure mask, and that is this never involves an app, never. And it has red and blue lights, but you can also use them both together. You cannot do that with the Cure mask. You have to choose. You could cycle through them, but you have to choose. Now, like I was saying about the fit, this one does fit my partner's face better. It's a little bit of a larger and kind of more adaptable mask to your face. It's obviously not flexible, but I think that it can fit a wider range of faces than the Cure Mask and the area inside the nose is actually larger. So this actually doesn't fit my nose as well because I do have a smaller nose. But what I don't like about this mask is again, if you take a look at the placement of the lights, why are they missing from the outer eye area? I can't come up with a good reason for why there's just a gap on that mask when the Cure mask actually does have LEDs right there. The only thing that makes a bit of sense to me is that the Dr. Dennis Gross brand sells a separate eye mask. So I guess you could say that the reason the LEDs aren't there is because they want you to buy that too. They also have the body one, which we will get to in a moment, meaning you could easily spend $1,000 on the Spectralite collection to complete your collection. And I kind of don't love that because for $435, it just should have some LEDs there in my personal opinion. But again, I don't really have any other problems with this. I do think it works. In some ways, I am actually kind of happy I got the two masks because in reality, I alternate. They have different LEDs, uh, LED placement. It's extra, I'm not gonna lie to you, what I just said is super extra, but I have the two masks, so I use them in that purpose. And uh, again, I do like the red and the blue light at the same time. Now, one more thing with this one, um, Angie from Hot and Flashy has an amazing video comparing the specs of all of these. She talks about how if you use this for two cycles, it's very close to what you would get from the Omnilux in office. I'll make sure to link her video below. It's an amazing video, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, you know, that could mean that this is a really good option since we do actually have those specs. Cure does give some of the specs as well. They're actually pretty close. These two masks are quite close. I think the main things to consider in choosing between these is do you really want this strap? Do you want the ability to use blue lights only in one area and also the size of your face and your facial features? And before we move on from this section, let's actually talk about using green green tea before you use your mask. So this is a thing that you will, if you get into LED therapy, you will find a lot of people talking about how you should use green tea before you use an LED treatment. I want you all to know that this is based off of one study on one person. He's an interesting person if you really want to go down the rabbit hole yourself. Oh my goodness, spend some time looking into all of the publications from this person. I don't hate him. In fact, I think he has very, very interesting ideas. But what I will tell you I'm completely puzzled by is that within their research talking about green tea, the principle they use is that perhaps using red light therapy could release some reactive oxygen species. So you want to choose something rich in antioxidants to neutralize those reactive oxygen species, right? That's exactly what the word antioxidant means. But a couple catches, one being that in general, these are low light therapy devices. They are not very strong. They are made for home use. So you probably hypothetically don't need to worry too much about that. But in the event you are, let me tell you something, you have absolutely no shortage of antioxidants in your skincare routine. Antioxidants are everywhere. I grabbed my Indy Lee Coenzyme Q10 toner as an example, rich in antioxidants. If you're concerned about reactive oxygen species, just use your favorite toner. Just use your favorite toner before you use LED therapy. Don't use one that has active ingredients, just use one that has basic antioxidants like this or pretty much any other basic skincare product. Listen, of all the things that companies try to sell you on, the one thing I truly believe you have enough of in your routine is antioxidants. Let's finally end out this comparison with the final device that I bought, the Dr. Dennis Gross Spectralite Body. I have a lot to tell you about this one. Mm, I have a lot to tell you. Which is good because as far as I've noticed, there's not actually a lot of YouTube reviews about this, but I can tell you about it. Okay, so first of all, 
The reason I was interested in this is because I do actually like the anti-inflammatory in particular benefits that I've seen from LED therapy. So I thought, whoa, this could be amazing. I could use this on my neck. I could use it on my hands. I've had people make fun of my hands in videos. Look at that, fantastic for fitting on my hands. I could do anything with this. I bet I even could use it for uh, my head if I wanted to. But mostly I was interested in treating this portion of my body because we have this amazing uh, fear of aging mentality around our neck, right? We do have it, right? Uh, you, you know, you hear your neck shows the signs of aging first and it was getting to me, you know? It's, it's hard to fight off these things. So anyway, I decided to buy it First, I did my research. I wanted to make sure that LED therapy is safe on your thyroid. As some of you might know, I do also use electrotherapy and you don't wanna use electrotherapy around your thyroid. Please don't. I've seen some people, even some people that I quite greatly respect, use microcurrent devices. Here, don't do that. Please don't do that. Safety first, please. Eye goggles, use them. Don't use electrotherapy on your thyroid. Anyway, did look it up. There's the study that I felt comfortable purchasing this after I read. Now, the problem that I've had with this is that within 30 days after buying this, I noticed that one of my lights went out. And I admit to you, I kind of panicked because, you know, $435 device, I did buy it on sale, but not for that good of a deal. I definitely felt like I should have all of my lights working. Now let me tell you a little bit about the Dr. Dennis Gross warranty program, which a lot of people have griped about. First of all, apparently it is only available if you buy the Dr. Dennis Gross items here as an American citizen. It does not work if you are in other countries. Secondly, I saw a lot of people say that they just didn't hear back from the Dr. Dennis Gross website when they emailed in about the uh, warranty. I could tell you what happened. First of all, I was very fortunate in that this pretty much immediately happened to me because I was able to register my device. It turns out that if you buy these devices, you do have a two year warranty, but if and only if you register your device within 30 days. Otherwise, has your Dr. Dennis Gross Spectralite broken on day 32 of owning it? Too bad, you're past the Sephora return and you didn't register for the warranty, your SOL. That is goofy to me. I looked up both the Foreo warranty as well as the Cure warranty, and both of those do not have that stipulation. I've actually never heard of that stipulation before. They did write me back, they absolutely did, but it went to my spam folder. I will make sure to emphasize that because I think a lot of people don't check their spam folders, so check your spam folder, but again, if it's over 30 days, so I did immediately register and I had the option to send this in, but like most warranties, they, um, first of all, you have to pay the shipping. You have to figure out how to ship it out yourself. And uh, they have to examine it and determine if they believe that it is covered by the warranty. If not, they will send it back to you. If yes, then you will get a new device. Now, ultimately, I was pretty upset about this actually for quite some time. And then I just decided to let it go. It's one light out. I bought it mostly because I want to share with you. So now I have that to tell you about. And if more LEDs go, I will update you on that. But as it stands, I'm not super comfortable with recommending you this. I know that since I bought this, it's been in a lot of sales. I think someone said you can buy it for 150 now. It's, it's difficult for me to say if that's worth it. You do need to uh, make sure that at that cost you still have that warranty because you might have a light go out on day 22. And $150 is still a lot to have lights going out. Um, so make sure the warranty always applies even if you're buying this in some kind of great sale. Um, but do I really recommend it? This is what's hard for me, I don't know. I mean, it's a decent idea, but the reality is I think you can take any of these devices and just use them on your neck area, kind of contour the lights to fit. Make sure you're using your eye protection, and by the way, some amount of people have thought you can be slick with this and just use this as a face mask. No, you can't, because you will be putting these LEDs directly over your eyes. This is a bad idea, safety first. So I think my bottom line with this is I do think it's a good idea, but I think it's just not that well manufactured. I don't think the lights should start going out in 22 days. And my worry is that maybe one went out because um, soldering the circuitry on something that is flexible might be kind of challenging. 
That said, I think other people do uh, use some of these masks that have this kind of a shape to them, but have the eye holes. And I haven't actually heard of other people having issues with those. If you use that type of an LED mask, feel free to comment. Have you had any lights go out? For what it's worth, I haven't had any more lights go out, but you know, it's still a bummer. When you pay that much money for something, be it 150, be it 435, I think that you should have all of the lights work for longer than a couple of weeks. Well, that covers everything. I have a suspicion that this is a long video because it took me a long time to film it. So uh, thank you to anybody who stayed till the end of this video. I hope you did find it helpful. As always, feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below, which I think I've said several times throughout this video. I hope it was a helpful video for you. If you want to buy one of these devices and help support this channel, you can make your purchase through the links codes below. If you don't feel like LED therapy is right for you, totally understand. Hope this video helped regardless. And that is it for today's video. Again, thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Make sure to like and subscribe on your way out, and I will see you all next time.